Marhaba. How are you? Shlonkon, Ezekum, Shu, Akbarkom. I always wonder, is it Ach Akbar Kom Kum Kon? You'll have to teach me that. Well, Ahlan, welcome to my office. Welcome to Gazelle English. And uh, happy that you're here. Please, if you haven't yet, subscribe to my YouTube channel, Gazelle English. I would love to have you be a part. So today we are going to learn about 10 feelings or states of being. Feelings or states of being, okay? So yes, naam. I did write, um, write, is it yaktubu, yaktubu? I did write all of these, bi Arabi. Yay, it was fun, it was fun, I had fun, mumtia. Okay, so the first, ana marida. I am sick. I'm sick. Sick. So let's go ahead and write that in English. All right. I'm, we'll just shorten it to I'm. I'm sick. S I C K sick. Let's write it a little bit bigger. I'm sick. So other ways to say I am sick. Other ways to say I'm sick. I don't feel good. I don't, I don't feel good. Um, I don't feel well. I don't feel well. I don't feel well. Um, I'm ill. I'm ill. I L L. I L L. I'm ill. Or to use an idiom, um, I'm under the weather. I'm under under so my hand is under my board my hand is under my board and the weather tax tax the weather like chitta mumtia so i'm under the weather okay so you can think of it like There's the weather, Mumtia, Thelj, and I, Anna, am under, I'm under the weather, means I'm sick. Anna, Morida, uh, I'm sick, I'm not well, I'm ill, okay? All right, moving on to our next um, state of being. I am hungry. Anna Jaya. I'm hungry. I'm hungry. I want to eat. I want to eat. I want to eat. Ako. Um, I ate. Is it eight? Ya. Ya, ya, kulu, ya, kulu, maybe, mumkin, mabarif. Okay, so I'm hungry. Another way to say, oh, I need to write it. Um, I'm hungry. I'm hungry. G R. Y H H U N 
G-R-Y, hungry. Ana jaya. Um, another way, another adjective for hungry is ravenous. Ravenous. I'm ravenous. It's a big word. Kilme um, kabir. I'm ravenous. Do you want to know how to spell ravenous? Because I can spell it for you. Um, ravenous for hungry is R A V E N O U S. R A V E N O U S. Ravenous. That means you are so hungry. Um, Jaya Jidin, that you could eat a whole cow. You could eat 10 chickens. Dejaj Ashara. You're hungry. You're ravenous. Okay? Um, the next, our next uh, feeling is Ana Mutaba. Ana, it's actually maybe not a feeling, but a state of being. Ana Mutaba. I am tired. Ana Mutaba. I am tired. I'm tired. Whew. I'm so tired. Um, another way to say that other adjectives besides tired, sleepy, I'm sleepy, I'm exhausted, oh, I'm exhausted, or I'm worn out, I am worn out, or I'm beat, I'm beat, okay, so I'm beat, I'm beat, I'm tired, I'm sleepy, sleepy, or um, I'm exhausted, I'm exhausted, E-X-H-A-U-S-T-E-D exhausted okay okay our next word is Anna Hazina Anna Hazina I I am sad I'm sad I'm sad S a D. I'm sad. Uh, you might also say, I am blue. Azrak, I'm blue. Or, I'm down. I'm really feeling down. Or, um, I'm down in the dumps. I'm down in the dumps. Or, I'm, I'm depressed. That's, that's really bad. When you're so sad, you, you can actually say, I'm, I'm depressed. And by the way, if you are depressed, um, please talk to someone about it. And please don't be afraid to ask for help. Okay? And um, so that's Anna Hazina. Anna Hazina. Our next word is Anna Raldiba. Anna Raldiva. I like saying that. It's like a low grade fever, a low grade growl. Um, Raldiva. I like that letter. Rali, Rali, Saril, Raldiva. It's one of my favorites. I like saying it. Well, I don't know why. I just do. Okay, so I'm angry. I'm angry. A N G R Y. Oh, I'm angry. 
<clears throat> Are you convinced? I'm really not. You can probably tell. Okay, other ways to say I'm angry. You can say these, now these are good. These are good, I use these, okay? I am ticked, I'm ticked, I'm ticked off, all right? This is important, you need to know how to spell this and say it. So I'm angry, I'm ticked is T-I-C-K-E-D, ticked, or I'm ticked off, ticked off, like on, and off. So I'm ticked off. And another thing you could say is I'm peeved. I'm peeved. Peeved. Um, also, I am furious. I am so furious. So furious is um, F U R I O U S. F-U-R-I-O-U-S. I'm furious. That's like so angry, so angry, furious. And then it even gets uh, higher. You can say, I'm irate. This is when your face is turning colors and spit is coming out of your mouth and you want to punch a hole in the wall or in a person. Um, you're irate or incensed incensed is similar to irate you're like on fire with anger what is the most angry you have ever gotten i can share a story about a time when i got really angry and it was when a girl in high school in new york uh, wanted to fight me every morning she wanted to fight me and i would always you know i was very proper and I would wear high heels and I had my pocketbook, which in New York, we called the purses pocketbooks. And, and I would go to the bus stop and she would say, I call you out, which means I challenge you to a fist fight. And, uh, and I would say, no, I'm a girl. I don't fight. And one day my father, who was a, is 100% Italian, he adopted me when he married my mom. So I was raised in an Italian home. And he said to me, Kim, you just need to fight her and she'll never, never bother you again. So I went to the bus stop with my pocketbook and my high heels and my big earrings. And she said, I call you out. I challenge you to a fight. And I said, I accept and her eyes got really big and she was scared because she didn't expect me to accept. Well, after school, I got on the bus. My heart was pounding. She got on the bus. It looked like her heart. Kalb, kalbahu, kalbhu, kalbha. Her heart was pounding and all the kids on the bus were so excited. That's one of our words. Ham, ham, where is it? Oh, mutahamisa, mutahamisa. So all of the kids were so excited because there was going to be a fight between two girls. And I'm scared, she's scared. We got off at the butt, we got off at our bus stop and the whole bus, all the kids got off the bus. And the bus driver was like, okay, see you later. Uh, um, let's see, how do you say see you later? Uh, <laughs> and, um, and he left, he went home. And so we got off at the bus stop and all the kids were saying, throw the first punch, come on, fight, throw a punch. And this girl, who every day made my life so terrible, she threw a punch at me. And I got all diva, all diva. I was angry. I was more than angry. I was irate. I was incensed. I was furious. And 
ah, uh, I don't know, this came over me and I made a fist, a bad fist. It was not a good fist. It was a bad, bad form. And I punched her in the head right there three times. Oh, so I feel bad about that now, but at the time I didn't. And oh, I think it hurt because she never bothered me again. And I went home and I had a little, gem, what is it called? Mountain. Jebel? Jebel? Is it Jebel? Jebel? I had a little mountain on my hand. I broke my hand. I broke my hand. Is it Maxur? Maxur broke my hand, punching her in the head because I was angry. So that's probably the time in my life, Hayati, Hayati, when I was most angry. What about you? When were you most angry? Okay, so moving on, moving on to number six. We have Anna, Anna Mutahamisa, Anna Mutahamisa. Um, I'm excited. I am, or I'm excited. Whoop, 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 whoop. I never was a cheerleader, never was a cheerleader. Um, I was always, yeah, I wasn't very involved with anything in high school besides lettering. I would make letters on girls' notebooks, pretty letters. They'd say, will you put um, the, the boy, my boyfriend, and my name on my notebook with the date we started dating? That's what I did. Other girls were in track, cheerleaders, mm, swimming, and I was drawing in notebooks. That's probably why I love Arabic so much because I love the script. Okay, so Anna Mutahamisa, I'm excited. I'm, I'm excited. So that's an E X C I T E D. I'm excited. I'm excited to be here today teaching you English. Okay, um, so other ways to say I'm excited. You can say I'm, um, okay, so this is more slang, slang, um, but a lot of people will say I'm pumped. I'm pumped. Kind of like when you're lifting weights and uh, you, you're pumping iron and you get, you pump it up. Like, you know, in ha you know do you, any of you remember Hans and Franz? They said, I'm just here to pump you up. They were bodybuilders, they were pumped up. Well, when you are excited, you can say, I am so pumped. I'm so pumped. You can also say, I'm jacked. I'm jacked. I don't know where these words came from. I hope they're all appropriate, but that's what we say. And then um, you can also say, I'm so, no, I don't think we say these as often. Maybe we use them more in writing, but uh, you can also say, I'm ecstatic. I'm ecstatic. Now, if I was really excited, I would not say, I'm so ecstatic. I would say, I'm pumped. I'm jacked, I'm excited. Um, some people like to use the idiom, I'm over the moon, over, il, el, il, el, il, el, qamar. Over the moon, I'm over the moon, I'm excited. Okay? But I personally like, I'm pumped, I'm jacked. Okay, the next one is Anna, Muhbata. I like saying that. Anna Mut. Oh wait, I have to change my facial expression though. Anna Mutbata. Anna Muhbata. I am or I'm frustrated. I'm frustrated. I'm 
pulling my hair out. I'm frustrated, okay? Oh, am I writing on myself? Maybe. Okay, so I'm Anna. So I'm gonna write it down here under, underneath the word. Frustrated, F, R, U, S, T, R, A, T, E, D. I'm frustrated. Some other ways to say that. Uh, I personally like this one. This is one of my favorites. I'm vexed. I'm vexed. Vexed. It has good letters. It has a V and an X. Okay, so vexed is V, E, X, E, D. Vexed. I think you can impress people with that one. Okay, you can also say, I'm annoyed. I am, I'm annoyed. Annoyed. Or, all right, let me write that for you because I don't want to annoy you by not writing these words down. Okay, so annoyed. A N N O Y E D. Annoyed. When someone is in a restaurant, when Inta, um, uh, I, Anna, am in Fi El Motam, and there's a person or people in Nas talking, talking too loud, too loud. Uh, it's annoying. It's frustrating. I don't want to listen to their conversation. I want to talk to my loved ones, my friends, my family. Okay. Um, another thing you can say for frustrated is irritated. I'm irritated. There's a fly, a uh, fly flying around. It's irritating. I just want to kill it, smash it. Okay. I'm very full of feeling today. Can you tell? All right, our next one, number eight is, let's see, where is it? Did I forget it? Mutafifa. Mutafifa. Mut, oh, is it this one? Okay, I'm confused. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So this is Anna Mutamisa. I'm excited. Anna Mutahamisa. Anna Mut. Oh, what is this? Muh. Oh, yeah. This is it. This is it. Okay. I'm frustrated. So, sorry. Asfe, I was a little confused. So, this is I'm frustrated. Anna Muhop. Muhbata. I'm frustrated. And, um, and now we go on to this guy, this one, Anna Muta Afifa. Anna Muta Afifa. And that is, I am grumpy. I'm grumpy. It's similar to frustrated. Okay. Um, so some other ways to say grumpy. Oh, I should write that too. Okay, I'll write it here. So I'm grumpy. G R G R U M P Y grumpy. Have you seen Oscar the Grouch on Sesame Street? The green monster who lives in a garbage uh garbage can he's grumpy all the time he's oscar the grouch so he's grouchy so that's another word for grumpy grouchy grouchy um also uh irritable i'm irritable but you you wouldn't say that about yourself most people if they're in a bad mood they would say i'm grumpy leave me alone maybe they'd say it i'm irritable i'm irritable and uh, for some of us women, certain times of the month, we might say, 
I'm hormonal. I'm hormonal. I say that to my husband. I'm sorry I'm in a bad mood. I'm just, it's hormones. I'm hormonal. Okay. I should find out, be out of me, how to, how to say hormonal in Arabic. You can teach me. Um, so let's see. I'm running out of room, but let me write some of the words for grumpy down for you. So let me erase this. And um, let's see. So for grumpy, you can say I'm grouchy. G-R-O-U-C-H-Y. Like Oscar the Grouch on Sesame Street. You can say I'm irritable. This is a long word. Irritable. I R R I T A B L E. So irritable has, do you notice a word that's in there? Table. Tall wheel. Table. Tawila. I don't know. Um, and then you have I R R I. I R R I. Irritable. So you can think when I am at my table and my child named Er. <laughs> I've never heard that name, but I'm making it up today. My child whose name is some is Er is naughty. I get irritable. When my child Er is with me, I at the table, I get irritable because Er is a naughty child. I just made that up now. It might be a little bit weak, but you know, it could work for you. Okay. And then the last one is hormonal, hormonal. And you know, men can be hormonal too, not just women. Men get, men have hormones too, and they can have seasons or cycles where they are grumpy too. So it's not just us women. So hormonal, H O R M. O N A L. Hormonal. Okay. Okay, moving on to our next our next word. It's a happy word. Anna Saida. I am or I'm happy. Easy. Everybody knows that, right? So I'm happy. H A P P Y. I'm happy. Um, you can say I am pleased. I'm really pleased. I'm happy with how my dinner turned out. I'm happy with, um, with the time I had today running or I'm pleased. I'm pleased with my day. I'm pleased with the time, um, that I had running. In, so please, I'll uh, write it right here. Actually, I'll write it here. Sorry, I'm not, I'm not the queen of neatness. Okay, so pleased, P-L-E-A-S-E-D. So you know, please, min fadlak, mun fad, mun fadlik, mun fadlak. Please, well, pleased. I'm pleased. I'm happy. Okay, and our last word for our time together is Anna Rodia. I am, I'm content. I'm content. All right, so C O N T E N T. Content. I'm content. So I, I don't need anything. Um, let's see. Anna, mm, la lazam, mu lazam, la lazam, wellashi. I don't need anything. Uh, I'm happy. I'm satisfied. I'm content. I have everything I need. Um, sometimes that's hard for us, isn't it? There's always one thing we feel is missing in our lives. Um, are you content with your life? Are you content with yourself? 
I struggle because sometimes, I think sometimes one eyebrow is higher than my other eyebrow. I don't like that. Um, there are other things, you know, we have wrinkles, we, um, we don't like certain things about ourselves, um, or there are things about our lives that make it hard to be content. And I think out of all of these words, my favorite word is Anna Radia. I am content. I love that feeling when I'm just content. Um, and if uh, you check out my, I think it's my TikTok, um, Gazelle English on TikTok, I just posted, oh, let's see. Yeah, I just posted a video on the word content as, a, as an adjective and then the word content. So it's pronounced a little bit differently, content as a noun. So I am content, Radia, um, and I create content for Gazelle English. And I hope that you are content with my content. I hope that you are content with my content today, Ilion. So thank you so much for joining me. Shukrin lakum. This was fun. And uh, again, please, if you have not subscribed to my YouTube channel, um, please subscribe, hit the bell, um, and also like this because I think if you like it, you give it a thumbs up, something good happens in the YouTube world. I'm not sure exactly what. And, um, and please, do subscribe because I have more videos up my sleeve that I'm going to be up my sleeve. That means I'm planning, I'm thinking about. So in a week or two, I'll do another video and post it on YouTube. Okay, so thank you so much. This was fun. God bless you and we'll see you soon. Ma'asalami. Bye.